His designs are distinguished by their uniqueness. The perforated sheet metal was new to the industry at that time and quickly became the brand Matthew Matigo. Innovative forms that contrast with the classicism of most furniture of that era, which is the case with the audacity of a chair with three feet. Alongside Serge Chmouy, Jean Prouvé, Charlotte Berian and Georges Chauvet, Matigo became symbolic of 1950s design. The Nagasaki chair is still Matigo's most well-known piece. It was shown the first time at the 1954 Salon des Artistes Décorateurs and is one of the rare three-legged models along with Anne Jacobsen's aunt chair. The chair is made of perforated metal sheet with unique details, such as the little stirrup that holds the seat and the legs together. The back and the seat is curved and arched, akin to the form of a saddle. It creates a sense of lightness. As a result of its very graphic design construction, Le Corbusier's work for the church at Ronchamp really springs to mind. Today, the chair is part of the permanent collection at the internationally renowned privately owned Museum for Design, Vitra Design Museum. As an independent self-taught designer who stayed aloof from all the controversy surrounding the trade during that period of change that marked the post-war years, he indeed blazed his own trail. He veered towards a form of furniture that was easy to use and accessible and became directly involved in both the manufacture of the pieces and their distribution. Today, Matigo's designs are equally fit for purpose as when they were originally created. They are simple, easy to move, light in appearance and they do not clutter up small rooms and has turned out to be design icons. And as Patrice Matigo says, when the poor looking metal mainly used for furniture is used in tube form, it offers a very rich looking surface when light filters through the fine perforations of the metal sheets. What my father was after was the preservation of this formal freedom of design in a rigorous and economical execution and, in my view, this is what he achieved to perfection and makes his designs even so popular today.